What iPhone means to me is it's a lot of things. Um, it's done many things where it's gotten me to find a new hobby. I've gotten into photography because of it. I didn't used to like taking pictures because who likes going to Costco to get them developed and having to wait and realizing, oh, how many mistakes you've made. And then having them all digital was amazing where you can say, oh, my, my finger was on the screen there, it was in front of the lens, and you can just adjust it. And um, it's, it's just been amazing for that. And it's also connected a lot of people. It's, it's done things for me, and it's, it's made me realize that I can – impact people's lives in a positive way. Um, at the Apple Computer Club, we offer a thing called Tech Learning Day, where people come in with their technology because they don't know how to use it or don't know what, you know, it's new to them. And I can sit down and with the amount of knowledge I've gained using the iPhone over the years, I can assist people and I can actually give back to the public. And it's given me this whole new opportunity. Uh, and not just that, it's also empowered me to travel. Uh, I went to Japan a few years ago. I went to Rome earlier this year, and not just to take pictures, but to get directions and do translations and just being able to open myself up to, you know, broaden my horizons. And I want to say before the phone, I'm not that directionally, you know, capable. I look at a map and I go, I have no idea where I am. And to be able to, you know, say, hey, Siri, um, get me to uh, the palazzo whatever or wherever i need to go and just her doing that for me is amazing and the other things that um, I, I feel iphone has done uh is empower a lot of people apple has this new ad campaign where it's called like made for them you know made for someone they get a given name but it's made for everyone and it's showing their dedication to accessibility and people with disabilities um and they show people who are quadriplegic who are able to control their house with a thing called HomeKit, where it's basically these smart devices that you can say, you know, Siri, turn the lights off, or Siri, unlock the front door. Or these people can use their phone and the cameras, and they can point it at something, and it will say, you know, onion, white, hand in the frame, and it will tell you these things, giving people, you know, the ability to do more. So I was in um, a social studies class in uh, 2007. It was... Um, I remember it was January, and I was like, no, this is, I don't want this, I'm not a big phone guy, this is kind of dumb, this is not what I'm interested in. And then when my, uh, my associate, my friend, who's also the uh, treasurer of the Apple Computer Club, showed me his phone, I said, no, 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 I, I have to get this. This is, this is the thing that I need. And, um, and one day I went to South Park with my family, and I'm like, well, why are we here? And it's like, uh, I can't stand hearing about you wanting this phone. Uh, and we're here to get it because we just we're tired. You just get the phone and you'll be done with it. I'm like, okay, fine. And and ever since then, it's just been it's been a part you know big part of my life. It can um, empower you almost all the time. Um, I want to say the other big thing is music. Um, I I absolutely love you know the things like Apple Music, asking Siri, hey, play me something I like, or do this or do that. And I've broadened my music interests just through that because I wouldn't go out and buy a song because so many times I don't want to spend ninety nine cents, a dollar twenty nine, and you can go six months later, I made a mistake. I don't want to you know can I return this? No, you can't. It's digital. And so it's just it's done so much.